Erickson trying to help break Gibson to the inside to Higgins. Gibson maybe with a run onto the back straight. So Evans leads from spring, still the fastest driver on track is Chris Cox back. Mark Gibson's just done a 126.2 to be the fastest driver on track right now. There's three or four drivers now just starting to get into the low 26s. It's going to be interesting to see how these guys have got these cars set up for the latter part of this race. It's so hot out there, the track's so hot, they'll just be melting those tyres. So Simon Evans with not much of an advantage. Mark Spring right in behind him. They've got a little bit of breathing space, but Chris Cox is now up into the third position. Gets around Sean Lawrence. Mark Gibson now up into fifth. Ben Erickson sixth. Turley and Fisher still back there in the 11th and 13th position. So not making the progress they would have wanted. Yeah, Dane was definitely, you know, he, he said that he needed to make some good inroads and get a few cars to definitely help the championship chase. But I guess Turley hasn't done that either. So it'll be interesting to see how this one plays out. Well, at the moment, Grant Ryan's gained a further 13 points to bring the gap down to 33 points. But there's still five laps left to go here at Manfield for the final race. And Mark Springs certainly hasn't given up. And this race is far from over, Jamie. Simon Evans holding on to the lead, but Mark Spring is definitely working him over. Chris Cox is the one to watch, though. He's really flying back there in the third spot. The gap last time was 1.9 seconds. As Mark Gibson and Sean Lawrence side by side down through the final corner. Lawrence on the inside, Gibson on the outside in the Talpo Motor Company. Number 35. And Grant Ryan's catching this group. Ben Erickson in the back of this queue. Grant Ryan definitely catching this group. He's up into the seventh position. He's got by Daniel Leenberg. Dane Fisher, 13th. Mike Turley in 10th. So we might have seen the championship lead change again. 10th to 13. There's seven points. There's a one-point difference in the championship. Dane Fisher by one point. Yeah, this one's going to go all to the wire at Taupo. So Mark Spring hasn't given up in the efforts of chasing down Simon Evans. Chris Cox talked about two tenths out of the race leader on the last lap, so the gap is 1.7 seconds back to Chris Cox. Mark Gibson, though, he has definitely made some gains. Sean Lawrence trying to fight off. Ben Erickson and Grant Ryan is definitely closing fast. 126.6 Grant Ryan's last lap. He was the fastest driver on track in that last lap. So there's the battle for fifth now with Ben Erickson to the outside of Sean Lawrence. Mark Gibson up into the fourth position. Erickson's going to try and go the long way around and dive back off the exit of Dunlop to get a run. Evans, Spring, Cox, the gap was 1.7. Now 0.7, Cox has halved the gap. And he's right there with him as Mark Spring goes to the inside, down into one. Simon Evans opens up the door. Mark Spring. may cross him over off the exit because Spring's run wide. Yeah, Mark Spring went in there with a lot of pace. It was it's surprising he held it up as good as he did. So Evans back into the lead, but look where Chris Cox is. Cox has moved right into this battle here. This is game on. Mark Spring, I reckon he's going to have another go maybe at the hairpin. No, Evans covers. But they're both now going to be wary of Chris Cox as Spring's right on the back bumper. Off the hairpin, onto the Denny Holm straight. The top three are nose to tail. Mark Gibson trying to chase them down. Sean Lawrence, Grant Ryan is now up into... I think the sixth position he's got around Ben Erickson. How much do you think Springy wants this race? I know he's been in this class for a long time, and I think the race victory has always kind of eluded him. He'll want this one badly. We've had seven different race winners in 2011. And Simon Evans or Mark Spring make it eight. The spoiler's going to be Chris Cox, who's probably been a little bit greedy, right? He's had three. Yeah, and Mark Gibson's coming as well, so this could be a four-way battle in the next lap or two. Well, Mark Gibson's had a pair of wins, including one this weekend at Manfield. Just three to go. Evans, Spring, Cox. 
Simon Evans and Chris Cox done a little bit of kart racing together over the years. It's Cox to the inside of Mark Spring. Should make that pass Nick Mark Gibson, Grant Ryan and Sean Lawrence. Still going at it for that fifth and sixth spot. And Sean's actually got back around him, so he's got the spot back. AJ Lord is right there with them. And Ben Erickson. Turley is 10th. Fisher is 12th. So a five-point swing for Mike Turley. So the gap is eight. That's three points for Tane Fisher in the championship. Yeah, Chris Cox has got around Mark Spring. So yeah, he made that pass down into turn number one. He's got pace. Simon Evans, he's driving the wheels off the Castrol Edge car. But Chris Cox is definitely charging. Goes to the outside. Evans just moves him up the track, trying the crossover out of Higgins. And I guess the good thing about these two boys out the front, they've raced lots of kart racing and they've raced together before. Yeah, absolutely. Simon's done a few laps around Manfield in karts, actually. That's a lot of fun. Chris Cox is going to pull to the outside. Mark Gibson's definitely making some gains. Evans, you'd think it'd have the line, but Cox may be looking to dive down the inside, crossing over onto the front straights. Evans holds on to it. Chris but for how long? Chris Cox is not silly. This will be like a game of chess. He will get one move to make this one stick. He's got one lap to do it. Well, he's just done the fastest lap, the previous lap at a 126.088 to the outside of Evans. Gotta be careful, because Spring is lying there in wait. Evans runs a little bit deep off the exit. Mark Gibson doesn't look to be making any gains just in the last lap, lap and a half. He's still two seconds out of the race lead. So I think Grant Ryan's probably in the box seat for the round victory. He's up into the fifth position. Evans, Cox, Spring, Mark Gibson. Grant Ryan, your top five, the last lap board, next time by the start finish line. Now Grant Ryan's been shuffled back a couple of spots. AJ Lauder all of a sudden is into the fifth position. I think we just heard it on the effects, Mike, there was something going on maybe down through the S's. There was a squeal of tyres. So AJ Lauder's definitely made a gain. Grant Ryan just losing some spots, but I still think he's in the box seat for the round victory. What has Chris Cox got for Simon Evans? Well, Evans doing the job. He'll take the last lap board unless Cox can pull up alongside of him with one to go. Chris Cox is trying to force Simon Evans into a mistake here. Simon's making that car wide and positioning it very well on the track. So he's going to be down the inside line. Last lap board out. Can Simon Evans add his name to the winner's list? sort of on debut this weekend he did the i-10 400 in the suzuki's at hamilton last season cox trying hard under brakes that's where he had his spin in race number two all evans has to do here is just run the inside line on every corner but not be too defensive and dane fish has got up to 12th mike turley's now 11th so that's a, an advantage to dane fisher but certainly grant ryan's going to make some gains he was in the sixth position Cox with a half look down the inside. Gives uh, Evans a bit of a nudge in the back bumper. Runs him wide off the exit. He's going to pull up alongside. If he can get far enough in front down into six here, he might get around the outside of him. Oh, he got a great drive off the hip, and Evans trying to come back at him, though. He'll be leaning forward in the race seat. He's got the line into Higgins. Springs right there with him. He looks down the inside of Chris Cox. Cox runs wide. Here comes Mark Spring. That's taken a little bit of pressure off Simon Evans. Maybe two car lengths. That could be enough for Simon Evans here to make it our eighth race winner. So Simon Evans looking for the victory. The Castrol Edge number four. Little bit of pressure taken off. Mark Gibson's right with Spring. He's got the inside run on Mark Co on Chris Cox. The VNC cocktails of Mark Spring will make it second. So it will be Simon Evans, the eighth different winner for the 2011 championship. It's been a big weekend for the Evans brothers. Down to the line, it's going to be close. Mark Spring gets it by one one hundredth of a second from Chris Cox. Matt Mark Gibson in fourth, AJ Lauder fifth, Grant Ryan in sixth, and I think that's enough to give him the round victory. Well, what a race. Simon Evans with the victory, the eighth different winner for the 2011 championship. Mark Spring second gets Chris Cox on the line by one one hundredth of a second. Mark Gibson fourth, followed by AJ Lauder, Grant Ryan in sixth. Dane Fisher leaves Manfield still with the championship lead, but it is single digit numbers.